I love the concept of light. I remember from a young age really being able to resonate with the, the principle that God is light because the things that I enjoyed that would fill me up with light made me feel more love, it made me feel energized and positive, it made me feel like a better version of myself and it made sense that light would come from God and that if I chose to seek for more light that I would feel closer to God and I would see him in my life more fervently and more frequently. I remember when I was 15 years old I was in a seminary class so members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, teenage men, members from the age of 14 to 18 get the opportunity to participate in what's called seminary. In many places it's early morning, in some places it's part of the school program. But where I lived, it was early morning. It was a 6 a.m. class. And I remember when I was 15, we were studying in the New Testament. And at the time, there were multiple different scriptures every year that we were encouraged to learn and to memorize because they taught us great truths about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I remember learning this few verses of scripture in Matthew that totally resonated at a deep level with me and changed me. That was, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light to all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That there may be enough light for all that are in the house. I remember reading this and having it just set my whole being on fire because I thought, oh, that's right, we have to shine our light. That's why we're sent here to earth, to shine for each other, to help show each other which way to go. Because the thing is, sometimes our lights are so bright and we feel radiant and glorious and sometimes we're just this tiny flickering candle. I remember there was a time when I was attending high school or community college as we call it in England and I remember of just feeling like I was the only one in my whole school that was trying to live the way that I lived and trying to keep the standards that I kept. And whether that was true or not, that's the way I felt. And I felt as I walked into school each day, just darkness surrounded me. It just felt like a really hard challenge to make good choices. And I felt like this little flickering light, just flicker, 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 encompassed by opposition. And the thing is, it's in those moments that our tiny light is actually the most radiant and the most brilliant and the most powerful. Sometimes we think that opposition, that adversity is, is just, oh, it's the worst and we wanna get rid of it, but it's in those moments of opposition, of darkness, that our little light has the ability to radiate its brightest, to pierce the darkness. Let your light so shine. Are you letting your light shine? I want to promise you that you're not the only one trying to shine a light. It might seem in your work or your school class or your family or whatever situation you're, you're the only one trying to shine bright. But when you step back and change your perspective, you will find others. You will find others that are trying so hard to radiate the light of Christ and you can glean light and strength from them. In knowing that you are not alone, in knowing that in all different places you are adding light to situations, to relationships, and ultimately to the world. Let your light so shine. Are you hiding your light under a bushel or are you putting it on a candlestick? You know what? Satan wants to tell you that when you put your light on a candlestick, that's prideful. Well, he's wrong. He is wrong. When you put your light, your love, your goodness, your integrity, your honesty out there and you live it honestly and fully, that is exquisite and radiant. That is what this world needs. Ye are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Right now, you are. Are you going to put your light on a candlestick or are you going to hide it?
encourage you to hold it, to put it on a candlestick and let it shine. I know with time, you will be supported by the light of others. You will attract more light and you'll be attracted to more light. And ultimately, we're gonna add more light to this world.